Beginning with our radial heart, start out by thinking of different kinds of lines and shapes that you could use around this concentric or radiating heart. I like to take a marker, a black sharpie, and start making some of those lines or shapes. Please don't feel like you need to use the lines and shapes I'm creating. Any kind of line or shape that you can think of would be awesome into this project. You'll notice they could be curved lines, straight lines, spiral lines, zigzag lines, uh, wavy or bumpy, or you could also do shapes. Maybe you want to make more heart shapes, circles or polka dots, squares, diamonds. Literally, the ideas are endless. So let's just go ahead and start drawing and making our own designs into our radiating hearts. Now, into making some cool colors into our project. I went ahead and I got some of these watercolor crayons and I'm starting to color in some of my designs and patterns. When I'm coloring them in, I obviously sped up the video quite a bit because I wanted to be able to show you the end in mind in a short amount of time. So I'm trying to think of colors that go well next to each other and I'm starting to use those into the radiating heart. It's okay if you leave little spots of white between your crayons, and it's also okay to do a little color mixing. I started out with some blue and added a little bit of green and crisscrossed some of my designs too. Now I'm going to continue working my way from the center of the heart towards the outside edge of the heart, adding in some watercolor crayons, leaving little to no white by the time that I'm done. Again, when I use my watercolor crayons, I'm going to try to make sure that I can color the whole page, little to no white, by the time that I'm done coloring. Now for our third and final step, using water. When you get a container of water, I want you to go ahead and start putting the water together inside the colors that you used. So you'll notice my heart shape where I had blue and green. I'm going to paint that, adding water to it, as well as my background or the frame to my picture because they're kind of the same colors, blues moving into greens. You'll notice I am not taking my paintbrush and completely painting the whole thing and scribbling so that all of my colors mix. I'm trying to keep my reds red, my yellows yellows, and my blue blue. If you take your paintbrush and start mixing and spiraling and rubbing it all together, your colors aren't going to be the colors that you want. They're not going to be exactly the same colors that you drew and colored when you did this part of the project. So when you're doing your water, keep that in mind. You want to go ahead and do it in sections so that your colors stay where you want them. A moment to review. Design and color your heart shapes. Add your water specifically using the colors in the same spots. Do not take your brush and spread it over the whole page. Just do little parts at a time. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun.